of you are thinking, oh, that's so boring, anyone can make fried rice. But no, you can make fried rice. But can you really make fried rice? That is the question. There's gonna be magic here. I'm gonna teach you a few different techniques. And guess what? There will be a quiz and you can get some jet gear as prizes. So, everybody got autographs, but only eight people are going home with some gear. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna do a demonstration and I'm going to probably ask each grade, right? Uh, I'll get two, I'll get your teachers to take responsibility for picking people, so that means I get to go home without no one being mad at me. All right, but uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a demo and I'm gonna ask you specific cooking questions based on this demo. Does that sound fair? Woo! You got your ears on? Yes. Listening ears on? Yes. All right, it's gonna get technical. It's not gonna be that easy. Because you know what? Some of you are gonna go home with aprons. Yes! Whoa. Wait, but some people might get chef coats like I'm wearing today. Everyone go crazy. Ah! Oh, not bad. All right. Anyway. Okay, here we go. So I know basketball's got to go, uh, but we'll, maybe we'll give them a chance too. So fried rice. You start with rice. Not easy to make, um, but don't worry, that's already pre-made. What is this? But well, wait. Is it just the pineapple? What if I told you it's also your serving bowl? Oh. Am I crazy? Okay, watch. Here we go. I'm going to take the knife, cut the pineapple in half, but don't just push down because you'll roll off and hurt yourself. Angle that knife up, push it right in, no resistance, lean down, turn it over, same thing, follow that line, and don't take off the pineapple fronds, the tops. We like those, those look cool, okay? And then just with one cut, you cut the pineapple right in half. Okay, first move. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> this is the queen to my princess wave. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, here we go. I need to cut this into a bowl, but still have enough pineapple to eat with and eat and make into fried rice. So watch. One more time. Now watch what happens. Boom, I just made a bowl right there. All right. Now, stop, stop. You all can do this too. Now, here we go. Cutting. Yes, you can. Do you want pineapple? Yes. Psych, I can't give it. Oh. It's not going to work, man. If you pay attention. All right. Pineapple cores. Don't, I don't serve these in restaurants. I eat them, but I don't serve them. So I, I take the cores out. And then I'm going to teach you a, a little rhyme that will help you cut anything. Repeat after me. A tile becomes a slice. A tile becomes a slice. A slice becomes a dice. A slice becomes a dice. Put that in your pocket, we'll come back. So, I'm cutting pineapple into dice right now, right? Very simple. Okay, let's apply our uh, tile slice dice. This is a... Um, <laughs> very good, I know you're... I'm laughing, that's a good joke. This is a mango. No, I'm kidding. It's a joke. It is a yellow squash. This is a zucchini. Here we go, watch. In the world of cutting anything in the kitchen, there are two camps, all right? Things are either a slice or they are a dice. Do we agree? So now, and anything that rolls around, tame it. Just cut a little piece off so it sits flat. Does that make sense? That way, nothing will hurt you. Now let's apply the rhyme. A tile becomes a slice, a slice becomes a dice. Now, I need to decide, what tile size am I cutting here? A small dice is always quarter inch by quarter inch by quarter inch. Does that make sense? So I'm going to measure a quarter inch slice. I'll do two. You guys see those? Two quarter inch dices. A medium dice is a half inch. Right? So I'm going to do half inch tiles. Now watch, let's apply our rules. A tile, which is this, becomes a what? 
Now let's do quarter inch slices. Right? What do I have here? Quarter inch slice. You want to learn a fancy word? This might be a quiz. This in French is called. Anyone speak French? Parlez vous français? This is called a batonnet. A batonnet, right? But forget all that French fanciness. What do I call this when I cut potatoes out of them and put them in the fryer? French fries. So, yo, a batonnet is just a French fry cut. So, quarter inch slice. Make sense? Yeah. So, now what if I take the slice and turn it into? Dice. Guess what? You just made perfect small dices. Does that make sense? Oh, stop, stop, stop. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing to the half inch slice, and that's how I make medium dice. That's how it becomes slice, slice from the dice. That's easy. That was a quarter, that was a half. What's half of a quarter inch? One eighth. So here we go. Things that roll around get me cut, so tame them. And now I'm going to do eighth inch. What's an eighth inch look like? Super thin, right? So to me, that is about an eighth inch slice. Do we agree? Eighth inch slice. What do we call an eighth inch slice? The batonet is a quarter. What's an eighth? Here we go. Starts with a J. Oh, oh what? Who says Julian? You did say Julian, didn't you? What's your name? What's your name? What if we take the slice into a dice? Ooh, this one's gonna be hard. So look at that. What is that? I, I cut the julienne into a dice. Do you wanna take a guess, the guy in the back? Oh, shh. Yeah, no, you, you're right, you're, you're, yes, sir. Juliet? Good guess. Julienne becomes Juliet, I like that a lot. That's quite clever. Okay, I'm gonna, you wanna guess? A baguette. I like that. I love baguettes. I eat those all the time. It's close, bro. It's close. Here we go. This one I'm going to go. Ooh, that was a quarter inch, remember? What's an eighth inch? Go. Mince. Ooh. You're so close. But here's, here, check it out. No, 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 no. A mince, a mince is about eighth inch, but no particular size. This one has specific size, which is a square. So here, I'm just going to tell you, and I'm going to ask you again to give you a gift. This eighth inch box is called a brunoir. Repeat after me. Brunoir. Okay, that's it. You learn how to cut everything. You learn how to cut everything. Let's get cooking. Here we go. Fried rice. There are rules to uh, making fried rice, and those are stir fry rules. So here we go. First rule of stir fry is this. Get your pan hot. Very simple. Second rule. What kind of oil do I use in the Asian kitchen? Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I promise to not use olive oil in the Asian kitchen. That's right. So what kind of oil am I using? And Ray, repeat after me. I promise not to use sesame oil for wok cooking. Peanut, soy, canola, grapeseed. The point is this. I want a high temperature, low flavor oil. And never use more oil that can basically, when you swirl around, it touches every part of the pan. Any more is too much. Does that make sense? Now here's the secret to wok cooking rice. Eggs. We want to cook eggs. And right, so this is how. I want you to crack the eggs in the pan while, uh, before the pan gets too hot. Now what I'm going to do is this. The problem with fried rice, if you don't do it correctly, is you use too much oil because rice sticks to the pan. Does that make sense? And if, if you use too much oil, you make that fried rice super greasy 
It's full of unnecessary calories, and it doesn't need to be. So watch, eggs, I'm gonna keep the eggs wet. I'm breaking the yolks. I want you to put the rice right into the wet egg. This is an ancient Chinese secret. Now watch, those adults are like, I've seen that commercial. I, kids don't even worry about it. Okay, now watch, I'm pressing the rice into the egg while it's wet. And look what happens, I scrape the pan and it becomes totally non-stick. So now, aromatics, garlic, shallots, and ginger go in. Does that sound delicious? Yes. Yes, yes sir, thank you. By the way, you guys are some pretty awesome kids. I spent all day here. And um, you're polite. You've never been told that? Oh, yeah. Look, whatever your parents say, not my business, but I think you're a polite kid. Is that okay? I think you're a good kid. So here we go. I like, um, who likes bacon? Yeah. Kind of delicious, right? So if I don't have bacon, I can do sausage or ham because I do want a little protein in my rice. A little smokiness, a little salt. Who likes shrimp? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so, so you know what? This is basically the fried rice version of a pizza. You know how you put all the meat on your pizza? You can put all the veggies and all the, the, uh, the proteins you want in here. So a little bit of our veggies, do we like that? A little bit of our pineapple. So that's why I love fried rice, because it really is a dish that has everything in it. And uh, it's got my protein, it's got my starch, it's got my vegetables, it's got my aromatics. And I'm gonna season a little bit of soy sauce. And I'll just put a, I'll put a little bit of sugar in my soy sauce. And uh, does that look beautiful? Would you eat that? In fact, I'm gonna have three of you come up and try it. to pick people that have been very polite and quiet during the demo. Oh, that means you're all out. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay, here we go. So watch. Who's watched me on TV uh, chop somebody? What is one reason I like to chop people? Bad presentation. Who said that? That's one. What's another reason? When, who says bad taste? You're absolutely right. So, check it out. Raise your right hand for the last time of the day. I promise to taste my food before I serve it. All right, because this is your last chance. And young chefs nowadays have gotten out of the habit of tasting their food. This is the last chance you can correct the dish before it goes out. Does that make sense? So, all right. Actually, I forgot to, my own rule. Does it look good? No, 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 no. All right, here we go. I had to put a little more salt. Here we go. I'm going to play it up now. Uh, does that look cool or what? I mean, pineapple looks, I mean, rice looks awesome in a bowl, but does it look even more awesome here? So there's another word. Who wants to own a restaurant one day? This is a good word. The word is perception of value. What does that mean? Simply means this. I can charge way more money for that pineapple rice than that pineapple rice. Does that make sense? That means more dollars in my pocket. Right? Now here, here we go. Please help me garnish this. Tell me if this is relevant garnish. No. Why? What's wrong? No? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me try again. Let me try again. Let me try again. So you watched me judge Food Network shows. Three of you are gonna to get to judge a Food Network judge. So I walked through um, the servery today and I had one fan that said, oh my God, meeting you is on my bucket list. So how about judging me is on your bucket list? Get up here, buzz one, Caitlin. And I'm gonna to look to my faculty administrators to pick two more. <laughs> Worthy 
student. Someone who's been extra good lately. A really great student. All right, come to the behind the table, kids. Behind the table. for the quiz for the year. Okay, first of all, hey, what's your name? Kaylin, I'm gonna hand for Kaylin, what's your name? Grace, Joe, Nick, I'm gonna hand for the four times, okay. All right, you watch Chopped and Cut Through Kitchen, this is how to uh, sell your dish. Presentation is not just how your dish looks, it's how to sell it. This is what I mean. There's a difference between this, yo judges, what's up, I'm Jed. Nice to meet you. Nice sweater. Uh, I made fried rice. It is good fried rice. Eat fried rice. Okay, there's one presentation. Is that a good presentation? No. No. Okay, here's another presentation. Watch. Judges, how are you? I'm Gentila. It's really nice to meet you today. Um, so I prepared for you a dish that my grandmother taught me how to make. Imagine, if you will, my 80-year-old grandmother, me three years old, standing next to her. This was the first dish. And every time I make this dish, I remember and love my grandmother. Please enjoy. How's that? Then you may begin. You're going to taste, evaluate. Flavor presentation is to remind you of pineapple fries. Don't double dip. No, I'm kidding. You shouldn't double dip. All right. It's good. What else? Tastes like good stuff. How about a hand for Kayla? Oh, yeah! There you go, you're hired! Who was our best judge today? 